social media post made by Police Chief Stan Stanridge start conversations across the city about homelessness. And KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez talked with the chief and the panhandler mentioned in the post for tonight's top story. A social media post from Police Chief Stan Standridge has many wondering what is the best way to help their neighbor. The post says this man, often seen at intersections in the city, is not what he appears to be, a homeless person asking for help. And in the course of conversation with the officers, he disclosed that he is not homeless. He lives at a Southside residence. He's dropped off on a daily basis. And uh, he talked about how much money he is making. Chief Standridge says it was during that same conversation that the man allegedly told police that he can make up to $1,000 in a weekend, causing many to bill him as a scam artist. However, the man who did not want to be on camera told me people have only assumed he's homeless and that panhandling is the only way he can make money because he's not able to work. Police Chief Standridge says the intention of his post was not to shame the man or ignite emotions, but to inform others about what he believes to be the best way to help those in need. You're going to do nothing to address homelessness in this city by giving five dollars out the window. Uh, but if you give five dollars and I give five dollars and we all give the money to nonprofits who specialize in ending homelessness, then we can actually make an impact. Katherine Bisson with Abilene Hope Haven and the West Texas Homeless Network says that donations to nonprofits like hers can fuel more resources for those that might even be too afraid to step into an agency and ask for assistance. We want to be able to reach out to people that might be have had bad experiences with agencies or their barriers are so high that they're unable to come to us. The man says he plans to keep panhandling, which Chief Standard says he has the right to do as long as he follows city ordinances. However, he encourages him and others like him to reach out for the services they need. There's a better alternative. Are you willing to embrace that? In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. Thank you, Mercedes. If you'd like to connect with the nonprofits we just talked about, visit the article on the KTAB website, bigcountryhomepage.com.